Hello and welcome to our family workshop. Now in this video, we're showing you how we made some wooden decorations to go in glass domes. So as you can see from the video, we start off with our designs. The designs that we're choosing for this one, we've got an angel, a heart, a silhouetted candle inside a Christmas tree, a love spoon, and also a simple cross. Now, whilst we got five designs that we're doing, I actually got the glass domes from a bid on eBay. Always looking for different items that might be good for demonstrating on our YouTube channel and to sell in our workshop. And I managed to win a bid on four glass domes that had a wooden base. So as you can see, we mark the design onto the wood itself. We do all of our pilot holes that will be used for doing our pierce work. And we start to cut our items out. So we're always looking for different designs and ideas that are popular. So we've got this angel design and we add little bits of detail to the angel by doing pierce work. Now as wood carvers, we often add detail to our work by carving onto the design itself. If you though only do scroll saw work, using pierce work can be an excellent method for getting all sorts of little bits of detail into your design. So we start off by doing all of the pierce work first of all. As we mentioned on previous occasions, if you do it that way, you've got more wood to grip hold of. Once you actually cut out the surround, you have a smaller piece of wood, which can be more difficult to control. As you can also see, I've chosen to do contrasting colored woods. So a front and a back. So once we've done the pierce work on the top layer, so for example, using the angel on that lighter colored top layer, we do all of our pierce work. We then stick it to a darker colored background using our Starbond super glue and the accelerant. And then we cut the surround out. It's a great way of getting contrast into your work by having those two different colors and getting extra detail into the project by using pierce work. So these projects, they're ideal for beginners, anyone who's getting started. But as we said, I would recommend leaving the surround to be cut out last because you've got more wood to grip, which can give you a little bit more confidence when you are starting out with scroll sawing. Now the little love spoon, I had to get it in there. I'm a love spoon carver. That's what we do. That's what we love. And I got that one on there. It's the only project that has any hand carving involved. So we cut out the pierce work on our angel and our Christmas tree, and then cut the surround of the angel, the Christmas tree, the love spoon, the cross, and the heart. Once we then finished off with all of our scroll sawing, we take all of our wooden items into the back room and we sand it smoothly on our belt sander. We're using around about a grade of P150. Just to smooth everything off, take off any sharp edges. And this then prepares us for the hand finishing. We've mentioned it on several occasions before that if you prepare your wood, on the belt sander and get it nice and flat on the back, it makes it a lot easier for scroll sawing. It means your wood's not rocking round, which reduces the chances of it vibrating, making the whole process that much easier. Now 
So from there, we carve out our little love spoon just to add a little bit of extra detail. And we go on to adding those three coats of shellac sanding sealer. You put the first coat on and it raises the grain. So you get a rough finish, rub it back down, put a second coat on, and then a third coat usually brings it up to a good finish. We are now using a method where after we put that third coat of shellac sanding sealer on, we then rub the item down once more, put on a coat of linseed oil mixed with beeswax. Now another little part with this one, we're always experimenting, trying different things, playing about, and I thought it might be interesting, what well, might be nice to add a little bit of color to the heart. So I've got some pink coloring, some pink pigment, and then on top of that, I'm putting our Starbond super glue, and we basically fill in that heart that has been cut out on the top layer of our heart with the pigment and the super glue just to create that bright, vibrant heart in the center. We then got to concentrate on how we're going to hang each of these decorations. So we bore a hole in the top of each item and then feed in a little screw in eye. Now on this demonstration, I used very small, fine eyes. What actually happened when I came to put it together, these, some of these, not all, some of them were actually too small. And for instance, on the angel, I had to change it for a bigger eye. So that's one consideration. Make sure that you've got the right metal eye to do the job. So there we go. Those are five simple scroll saw projects that you can use to turn glass domes into decorative items. Let us know in the comments section which one of those is your favourite, which one you plan on having a go at making yourself. As always, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you know when we upload another video. And as always, thank you again for watching.